Every pregnancy needs utmost care and attention. But certain pregnancies need a little extra attention. An RH negative mother carrying an RH positive baby is at increased risk of complications. PSV is at the forefront to ensure safe delivery in every RH negative pregnancy. You've been quite a consistent performer uh, in WBBL for the last three years, having picked up at least 16 wickets uh, every season. Uh, what would you say has been the secret to your success? For me, I don't think it's any secret. I think just the way I am as a leg spinner, the way I sort of encourage batters to go after me with my flight, with the, the, the amount of tone I get. Um, I think I'm quite a different leg spinner to everyone else. Um, but as a spinner, you've got to recognise that you're a spinner and you're going to get hit sometimes. Um, you know, you're going to get wickets here and there. Um, if you got, if you get like one for, you know, you're okay. So, T20 cricket is so hard because you can bowl so well some days, but go for a lot of runs. You can bowl like terribly and get the amount of wickets, you know, like five for or whatever. But I think just for me over the years is consistency. Um, I think my consistency throughout the years have, um, gradually improved each year. Um, I guess I'm bowling less balls down leg, I'm bowling less extras um, and I guess I'm always ask, asking that question from a batter's point of view to always play at it. Heading into the 2021 season of the WBBL, did you do anything differently? Because your numbers were quite good uh, the season before but it certainly went up in 2021. For me, it was probably my length. Um, I talked about it in the last few games about my long ball. So um, for me, I struggle um, bringing back my length um, quite a bit. So I brought in the long ball where I bowl at stumps and my length automatically comes back a bit. Um, so it's just bowling that bit shorter and having batters run at me and run past one. Um, but it's also me also attacking the stumps quite a bit more. Um, like I wouldn't change I don't think like a lot has changed throughout the years. I think yeah, just more so the length that I'm bowling is crucial. So did you speak to somebody regarding your lens? Did you discuss it with any coach or somebody or did it come to you naturally? I think it's just more so like having those conversations with my bowling coach Jude Coleman and also recognising that a lot of other spinners use long balls. Like for example, this is the like who used to always use long balls in her um, Kruger career. And I thought, you know, I was having trouble with my length and you know, that's something I could implement into my game and it yeah, actually quite works. So I think that's something I'll probably practice more and continue having that in my repertoire. Um, because yeah, for me, I feel like that's more easier to execute rather than bowling a normal Ball, but shorter length. Let's talk about your international career. I would like to take you back to that first ball that you bowled uh, to Milan Dupree. And uh, what are the memories of that day? And you know, like players are generally so nervous when they are debuting. Uh, but you, like your story, had a fairy tale beginning because you started on the first ball that you ever bowled got a wicket. Ah. Uh. I was so nervous, honestly, even getting picked for the squad, I, it was out of the blue and um, I remember telling my mum and dad and they were, you know, jumping up and down and hugging me and, you know, they came over to Coffs Harbour and, you know, I had my best friend there as well and, you know, I had so much support back home and people that came and watched me as well. And I remember getting thrown the ball and I was, yeah, I was so nervous, I was like just, I was talking to myself, I was literally just saying, just bowl how you normally bowl in WNCL. Um, just, you know, just do your thing pretty much. And yeah, it happened and I couldn't believe it. And um, it was funny, my best friend that was there, Christy Williams, she said that, she actually said to me the day before, I would, I would laugh, you, you know, take a wiggle with your first ball or something like that. It was, she mentioned something about it, it was quite funny. And then we were talking about it and reminiscing about it. Let's talk about spin bowling. Who do you really enjoy watching as a spinner? And who would you say had uh, the most influence uh, in making you a top quality spinner? Um, I guess throughout the years, like when I first started bowling leg spin, it was my father. And obviously I would watch Shane Warne here and there. Um, 
I remember, yeah, watching him off YouTube, watching all of his highlights. But then growing up, <clears throat> I had a spin coach, Shelly Nitsky. Um, she did a lot of work with me, um, yeah, throughout my career. And I couldn't be more thankful for her to, um, I'd love the no, sort of the no bullshit um, motto, which is, you know, some you know players don't like that. But, you know, I'm someone who likes honesty and, you know, you're going to get the best out of me by not being so um, fluffy on me. Um, you know, like sugar coating everything. Mm. So yeah, like yeah. Why did you choose leg spin bowling? You could have been an off spinner. You could have been a pacer. But what was it about leg spin that it really attracted you when you chose this particular thing? Yeah. I, well, when I was younger, I I was so silly. I did a flip off the monkey bus and broke my wrist. Broke my both 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 my wrists at the same time. Um, and then I was still playing cricket with while I had like cast on. Um, I got approval to do that as well. Um, but when I bowled during the game, like I, for me, I was bowling like leg cutters, sort of like leg cutters, and I could see it moving quite a bit. Um, and then I sort of had an interest in the way the, boob, the ball was moving. Um, and I sort of, you know, went down that line to choose leg spin. And then I knew, I knew Shane Warne was a leg spinner, and I just kept watching him and trying to perfect his bowling um, in the backyard. And I just wanted to be like him. And the more and more I did it, the more, the more I enjoyed doing it because I knew it was so hard. And it's such a hard, hard, like hard to perfect it. I think I just get so much joy out of doing it and seeing how, how. I guess the way that leg spin is, the, the art of it and how hard it is. I think, yeah, I'm a, I'm a perfectionist. I love to try and things at their best. And for me to try and perfect leg spin, I haven't got there yet, but I'll get there one day, I hope. Now that you did speak about Shane Warne a couple of times, I would like to take you back to that one dismissal of Tammy Beaumont during that uh, Ashes at home when you made your test debut, that ball of the century. Tell me about it, like what was the emotion involved, uh, what was what was happening around the time when it happened, uh, how do you look, look it up back even now, so many years later people still talk about it. I didn't just know, I think I like after the game, I knew how big of a deal it was once there was um, clips coming out uh, side to side and people talking about it here and there. I think, yeah, what that's happened so many years ago and still people are talking about it. And, and I think, you know, I always get compared to Shane Warne and, you know, I couldn't thank everyone else. I couldn't thank, you know, so many people for doing that. Um, I would never be like him, to be honest. The way the way he spins the ball, the way he plays with so much aggression, the way he bowls and goes about it, it's incredible. Um, but yeah, during during that day and bowling that ball, I thought we were in a situation where we needed wickets, and you know I was just trying my best to spin it hard, hit those um, rough patches, um, and get us wickets really. Um, but yeah, when I bowled it. To be honest, I thought it was a bad ball because it was going to land on leg and not not where I wanted to pitch. And then, yeah, just spun back, hit top of off, and you know we celebrated. And watching it back on the big screen, I remember everyone watching it. It was quite, yeah, it was it was something. Every pregnancy needs utmost care and attention, but certain pregnancies need a little extra attention. An RH negative mother. Carrying an RH positive baby is at increased risk of complications. BSV is at the forefront to ensure safe delivery in every RH negative pregnancy.